Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and what I have for you here is a nice, interesting algebra problem. Now, I was going to say algebra word problem, but this is not quite a uh, typical algebra word problem, but indeed it is an algebra problem. So let me go ahead and read it to you. It says, both X and Y are positive integers. If x plus y squared is equal to 56 and x times y is equal to 12, then what is x squared plus y squared equal to? So if you think you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one moment. And then, of course, I'm going to walk through the solution step by step. Now, I will say this much. Uh, there's different ways to approach this prompt. So don't feel like, you know, you have to you know, recall a specific, um, you know, approach to, you know, figure this thing out. Just kind of reason with it. And even if you don't think you can do it, you know, I think it's a good idea uh, just to think about it for a second and just see what you can come up with, at least in terms of ideas. And of course, we'll, uh, we're going to take a look at the complete solution in just one second. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, we have this lovely algebra problem. Both x and y are positive integers. If x plus y squared is equal to 56 and x times y is equal to 12, then the question is, what is x squared plus y squared equal to? Let's go and take a look at the answer right now. The solution is the following. X squared plus Y squared is equal to 32. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, hopefully you got this right. If that is the case, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that indeed you were able to reason through this particular algebra problem. Now, this type of problem would be something that you could possibly see on a test like the SAT, ACT, things of that sort, right? It's not totally clear on exactly what to do, right? It's not like, hey, solve this equation. You recognize what type of equation. You just kind of do the work. But here you kind of actually have to think about what are the parts of this problem? What am I supposed to do? Again, the most important part of any problem that you're asked in mathematics is to understand the question. And in this particular problem, the question is, we're trying to figure out what x squared plus y squared is equal to, given this information. So let's go ahead and take a look at the solution. Now, again, there's different ways you can approach this, but I'm going to show you the way that I'm going to think about it. Now, let's just take a look at the problem again. It says x, uh, both x and y are positive integers. So it's a good idea to know what an integer is. And of course, uh, we want to be talking about positive integers. So what is an integer? Well, again, an integer is these numbers like this, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. All these type of numbers on the real number line are integers. So we're talking about positive integers. So we're talking about things from one on, right? One, two, et cetera. Another way we could um, express positive integers would be like uh, the counting numbers or uh, natural numbers. Now, there, it is important that in this particular problem defines uh, that both X and Y are positive integers, but even if you didn't really you know, understand the impact of that, uh, of what this is saying, you could still get through the solution to this problem if you just know some basic algebra, okay? So let's take a look at this part right here. It says if x plus y, all this in parentheses squared is equal to 56, and x times y is equal to 12, then we're, again, we're looking for this amount. So what do we need to do here? What can we do? Well, I'm gonna suggest to you that you just start at some place, right? When you're not quite sure what to do, take a part of the problem and just start kind of seeing where it takes you. And that's not a bad um, kind of technique to use. Now, if you feel like you're going down the wrong road and your work is not getting anywhere, then you want to stop and change uh, your approach or your strategy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus in on this x plus y squared is equal to 56 because I know I can um, use some algebra to figure out what x plus y squared is equal to. So let's go ahead and do that right now. 
Okay, so let me kind of scroll down here. So x plus y, all that squared is what? Well, x plus y squared means x plus y times x plus y. So I'm not trying to solve this equation. I'm just uh, simply trying to figure out the product of uh, x plus y times x plus y or x plus y squared. So we're going to use the FOIL technique. So it's going to be the first uh, first outer inner last, right? So let me write this right here, FOIL, because we're multiplying a binomial times a binomial. So x times x is x squared. x times y is xy. y times x is yx or xy. So I'm going to write it as xy. Uh, again, y times x is the same thing as x times y, but because I have this one as x times y and this is x times y, I'm going to be um, adding these up as like terms here in a second. And then uh, let's go ahead and finish up with y times y, which is, of course, y squared. So again, this is just an example of using the FOIL method to multiply binomials. Okay, so let's go to continue to clean this up. So we have x squared, which is, of course, x squared. x plus y plus x plus y, that gives us 2 times xy. So we have 2xy's plus y squared is equal to 56. So at this point in the problem, hopefully your radar is up and you're like, hey, wait a minute. I thought I saw an xy in the problem, the given problem's information. So you kind of go back. Of course, anytime you're doing a uh, problem like this, you want to read it at least a minimum of three times and always reference back to the information that you're given. And you can see here, we have to use the other parts of this problem, the other pieces of information. So we have if x plus uh, y squared is equal to 56, so we just expanded that, and xy is equal to 12. So I do have an xy here, and it's equal to 12. So that's really going to be the key to figuring out this problem. Okay, so this xy right here is equal to 12. That's given information. So I'm going to replace this xy with a 12 and see where that takes us. So let's go and do that right now. All right, so here we go. We got x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is equal to 56. We're uh, replacing x, this xy with 12. So we're just going to substitute in that xy a 12 and simplify. So when I do that, I'm going to get x squared plus, um, did I say x squared? Yes, I did. I say a lot of things. Sometimes I go, did I actually say that correct? I believe I did. If I made an error, I apologize. But I think so far I am good to go. All right, so let's continue on. We have x squared plus 2 times 12. Okay, of course, that's the same thing as xy. And 2 times 12 is what? Of course, that is 24 plus y squared is equal to 56. So at this point, I have this equation simplified but uh, down to here. But remember, the question is asking what is x uh, squared plus y squared equal to. Okay, so what is x squared plus y squared equal to? Well, right here, all I need to do to figure out what x squared and y squared, what that's equal to, is just move this 24 to the other side of the equation. So I would just subtract 24 from both sides of the equation. So 56 minus 24 gives me 32. And so this leaves me with x squared plus y squared on the left-hand side. So this right here would be the final result. Okay, so again, this is just an example of problems that, uh, math problems you can run into that it's not so clear you know, on what to do. Again, these are very common type of problems that you'll see on standardized tests. Uh, and the like, you, you got to remember that math is, a, you know, when you learn math, you're learning skills, you're learning tools, but math problems can be any type of problem. It's not so, always going to be the type of problem they're going to run into on your homework, test, or quizzes. So these type of problems are a little bit more interesting, and sometimes there isn't a clear path initially, uh, you know, um, to kind of like say, oh, I know exactly what to do. You have to read the problem and try different approaches. But the main idea is not to give up. And of course, you do need those uh, skills, you know, those sub skills that are going to uh, take you to the solution in a problem like this. And we're talking about algebra. So if you need help with algebra, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel about, you know, pretty much all the different type of skills that you're going to need to know. Uh, in algebra, if you really want to learn algebra for me, uh, I would uh, suggest checking out one of my three courses. I got my pre-algebra course, my algebra one course, algebra two course. And if you really, really want to learn advanced math with me, 
check out my pre-calculus course. And again, if, uh, if you want to continue to learn more math with, it, with me, I do have a full geometry course as well, along with other courses. But whatever you do, learn the skills required in order to solve the type of math problems that you are dealing with. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.